Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a scenario that retrieves tickets in Zendesk, compares the tickets descriptions to predefined keywords which are apps and if there's a match the apps are added to Airtable. This scenario is perfect if you're doing some market research on what your users or customers are asking most about in tickets and which apps they need the most contact on. Of course you can adapt it to fit your specific needs. So let's begin. As you see, the scenario starts with the Zendesk Watch Tickets module. First, you need to add a connection to Integromat. In the Watch field, you have the option of selecting only new tickets or all changes. Select only new tickets and under status, select new. Now you need to retrieve the user's details, which is required for Airtable. In order to do that, Add the Zendesk Get a User module and simply map the request ID element outputted by the Watch Tickets module to the User ID field. The next step is to separate each word in the tickets description in order to match them to the predetermined keywords added to the subsequent modules. To do this, add the Tools Set Variable module and give the variable a name. To split the words, use a split function found under the Text and Binary tab. Next, map the description element outputted by the Watch Tickets module within the brackets and add the space element also found under the Text and Binary tab. A router follows splitting the scenario into two routes. The top route is for keywords which are actually various apps and the bottom route is specifically for e-commerce apps. Let's look at the top route. Since you want to verify if the tickets description contains these keywords, you need to add these keywords to the tool set variable module to create an array containing a collection of them. Under the function for working with arrays tab, select the add function, then map the empty array element and enter the keywords in the brackets. Next, you need to iterate through the ticket description array created by the first set variable module in order for it to be used in the subsequent filter. Add an iterator and simply map the ticket description element to the array field. Between the iterator and the tool's text aggregator is a filter. The purpose of this filter is to verify if the keywords match any of the words in the ticket's description. Map the variable element outputted by the second set variable module to the top field. Select the contains case insensitive array operator and map the value element output by the iterator to the top field. If there are multiple apps that match the keywords, each app will be added to a new row in the table. The purpose of the tool's text aggregator module is to aggregate all these apps so that it can be added to a single row in the table. Select the iterator as a source module, other as a row separator, and enter a comma as the separator. Also tick the stop processing after an empty aggregation option. In the advanced settings, simply map the value element output by the iterator to the text field. In the Airtable create a record module, select the base and the table. Then map the relevant elements output by the Zendesk get a user module to the corresponding fields in the table. In most cases, Apps will be mentioned multiple times in a ticket, which results in duplicates being added to the table. To avoid this, you need to use several functions. First, add the deduplicate function to the app field. Next, add the split and the lower function. The lower function is used since in most cases when the user types the name of an app multiple times, some may begin with a lowercase and others with an uppercase. Lastly, map the text element outputted by the text aggregator within the brackets. In the title and description fields, map the subject and description elements outputted by the Zendesk Watch Tickets module. Moving on to the bottom route, the only difference between the top and the bottom route is that the set variable module contains e-commerce apps or keywords. The rest of the modules have the same configuration as those on the top route. So let's test the scenario.
The execution was successful and you can see that 10 tickets were retrieved from Zendesk. The apps mentioned in the tickets descriptions match two keywords on the top route and one on the bottom route. The apps were added to the table as intended. Hope you found this video useful and will implement this scenario soon. Thanks for watching and happy automating.